What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video for those of you who don't know I'll be showing you guys what's needed to obtain the no time to explain. Now many of us would have done the first part of this quest for this weapon about two weeks back when the paradox mission was the daily story. This is the only way you can do the first part of this quest for this weapon. The paradox mission is the daily story today so do it while you can. If you miss it today then I'm sure it will come around in about two weeks from now. If you are unsure what to do in this daily mission I will link my previous video in that video description which guides you through exactly what you need to do and once you have done that you'll end up where we are today. And what shows in this video is the continuation of the quest for the no time to explain. So with the recent patch or weekly reset, the quest continues with Future Walkout. And the next step is to earn rep through donations to Future Walkout. Here, I believe you have to pledge allegiance to them, then simply rank them up by donating malts or armor materials. After a few donations, this step is complete. And next, you will have to track down a powerful Taken Minotaur. Once you've done that, you must destroy him and you will receive a simulation core. You then have to shatter it by dismantling it. I went to Venus Patrol, went to the Ember Caves area and waited for the Taken to corrupt the land. Nine times out of ten, a Taken Lieutenant in the form of a Taken Minotaur will appear. Simply kill him and collect what's needed. Upon returning to the tower, the next step is to kill Atheon in the Water Glass and collect and dismantle or shatter if you like the Eye of Atheon. The whole Water Glass on normal can be done in easily under 30 minutes. So that's what I suggest you do. Okay so the next step upon returning to the tower is to set course for the Twilight Gap on Earth. Basically a new mission will appear and it's called the Shadows of Twilight. Once loaded up, and this has to be done solo, you basically have to make your way to that C flag area as this is that PvP map Twilight Gap. But you will need to make sure you don't fall to the darkness and to do this you need to find that light. Once near that sea flag area, look for a chest. You can see where mine spawns, but I don't think it spawns in the same place every time. Once you have opened this chest, you will be rewarded a bracelet of Anna, and you then need to head back to the future Walcott chick in the tower. Upon returning to the tower, the next step is to head to Mars and select a new mission called the Blood in the Garden. Here you have to draw out the Grand Keeper and to do this you need to kill as many Vex to anger him to over 100%. And then he appears. It ain't too hard and you should do it first time. The Morpho keeps teleporting though and you will need to keep killing Vex as well as putting damage on him to keep his anger over 100%. Once he has been destroyed, head back to Future Walkout in the tower and collect your no time to explain. Now this no time to explain is an exotic which has kept everyone on their toes, no one knowing where it came from and all of a sudden it's here for everyone to obtain. Now I remember original footage of this weapon in the Taken King trailers and this weapon being an arc burn weapon. What happened to that? It would have made this weapon 10 times better and more useful than what it is. Although I did love the original Stranger's Rifle, this one feels just as good with a great mod to go with it. As well as being full auto, it also has a mod called Rewind Again, obviously referencing time travel. Precision hits are immediately returned to the magazine. This thing will be a beast in PvE, it really will. Now I will try it out and do a PvP review on it, so stay tuned for that. But until then guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is how you get the no time to explain. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Wait, don't shoot them. They're not in a combat sequence. I think they're waiting for something. Never mind.
We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.